Hi, my name is John Gibbons, and today I'm going to show you how to test for myotomes. A myotome is a group of muscles innervated by a specific nerve root. Typically, we tend to get pathology in the cervical spine between C4 and 5, which affects the C5 nerve root, 5 and 6, and 6 and 7. Typically, most therapists will learn how to test C1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and so on. And I will show you that, but as I said earlier, in reality, we're going to be looking at it from C5 onwards. Now, if I ask my patient to slowly flex her neck from there, and then to slowly extend the neck, then that will be mainly testing C1 and C2. If I ask my patient to slowly side bend to the right, that's testing C3. And if I ask my patient to either elevate one side or both sides, slowly elevate, that's going to be testing C4. Now, when we test the myotomes, it is normally graded 0 to 5. And 5 is normal, where they can resist against their resistance. And obviously, 0 is where they have no contraction whatsoever. So then that probably indicates an obvious nerve root pathology. Now, if I ask my patient to lift the arms, that's already a test of C5. Even though we are using the deltoid and the supraspinatus muscle, then for the patient to lift is already testing the innervation of C5 nerve root. And if I slowly just push down, and then she can resist, then that will be testing the C5. From here, it's slightly awkward. Now, if I ask my patient from there to flex both her elbows, then that's also testing C5 and C6. But it's probably easier now for me to come around this side. And then maybe just to focus on one side. Now, if, for instance, the patient has symptomology on the right side, then what we want to do is test the opposite side first, the good side. So this side will be no symptoms. So if I ask my patient just to slowly match now, so this is C5. If I ask my patient to flex the elbow, it's also C5 and C6 nerve root. C6 is more uh, realistic to test wrist extension. The way I do this one, I ask my patient to wrist extend, my hand comes over and then I resist that motion against my patient. And if you can resist that one, that's mainly C6. From here, I ask my patient to slowly push her elbow down. So she's extending the elbow, which in this case is using the tricep, but that's testing the C7 nerve root. We can also test C7 by interlocking the hand and asking the patient to flex the wrist against my pressure. That's also C7, and I can also get my patient to interlock my fingers, and slowly she's going to literally extend her fingers, and that's also C7 nerve root. From there, C8 nerve root is where she's going to interlock her fingers and flex her fingers. And then the last one, if you open your fingers, please, so she's abducting, and then close, and that's adduction. If you open, if I put my fingers in between, and then I ask my patient to open and close, then that will be testing the T1 nerve root. Now, imagine the pain is on the right side. Have a line in the back, please. You can also test from the supine, which in reality is a lot easier for some therapists. We can ask a patient to abduct from here, hand over and match my pressure, push in. So that's testing the C5. If I ask my patient to flex the elbow, that's testing C5 and C6. To push the wrist up is mainly C6. C7 is extension of the elbow flexion of the wrist, slowly extend the fingers. So she's extending the fingers, which is mainly C7. From there, if she curls the fingers against mine, it's C8. Open your fingers, interlock the fingers through hers, and when she abducts and adducts, that's testing the T1 nerve root. So what I've shown you there is to test the myotones on the upper limb.